We're at the Alvin Historical Museum in Alvin, Texas. Come on in and let's take a look. Join Joe as he chronicles his road trips through the cities, towns, highways, back roads, and various regions of the Lone Star State. This is Texas Chronicles with Joe Perez. The Alvin Historical Museum is a joint effort of the City of Alvin and the Alvin Museum Society. The day-to-day -day operation of the museum is conducted by a core of volunteers. There are currently 21 permanent exhibits in the museum. We're, you're at the Alvin Historical Museum in Alvin, Texas. This is Alvin Morgan. He's the namesake for Alvin. He was the original a settler here in Alvin. Uh, this is a solid wood carving that won first place in a national carving contest in Branson, Missouri. It also has his dog Shep and his goose John who followed him all around town. Alvin was formed, it was really a railroad town when the railroad from Galveston came, came through here. Uh, it was originally a, a farming, agriculture, uh, cattle, uh, dairy uh, industries were the main industries here uh, and they shipped all kinds of fruits and vegetables out, out of here. In fact the largest employer or actually the largest business in town was the crate company that made the crates to ship the stuff out, out of uh, town. Um, but we were famous for strawberries, for uh, figs, uh, for satsuma oranges until the freeze hit and killed it, killed it all off. We had a a uh, orange festival that was a big thing that lasted for several days uh, each year and they had it one year and they were planning to have it the next but the freeze killed off the orange trees and killed the festival. The curation in this museum is excellent. You can check out exhibits from the prehistoric to present day Alvin. But what I was most interested in is seeing the Nolan Ryan exhibit Alvin's Local Legend. Now this is the Nolan Ryan exhibit, which is part of the Historical Museum. Uh, this is related to his career and his early years. It talks a lot about his character, which is the thing that impresses me more than anything, is his character, in spite of all the notoriety and everything, he, he and his wife and his whole family are just really good people. Uh, he was born in Refurio, but moved here before he was one year old and uh, lived here. He actually had uh, raised calves in his early years and wanted to ultimately uh, go into uh, become a vet. And he only got into the baseball thing. Um, just uh, we'll do this baseball thing for a while and then I'll save up some money and then I'll go to vet school and become a vet. Well, this baseball thing blew into something a lot more than he had, he, even he had anticipated. Uh, he actually liked basketball in high school better than the baseball but he was too short uh, and uh, he excelled in baseball and so that's the, the tack that he took. I mean he's accomplished unbelievable things in baseball but he's always just a very down-to-earth person. He um, appreciates everything. Uh, you'll find him pumping gas in his car, you'll find him at the grocery store picking up groceries and everything and he's just like anybody else and he's very honest and, and humble. He, preaches that to his kids, his wife and his kids are all the same same way. You know, they're just very humble people, down to earth, uh, very appreciative of everything that, that uh, he has been able to do, uh, but, uh, but in spite of that, he's just stayed down to earth uh, completely. Two display cases in the museum are filled with antique toys. Come and explore exhibits ranging from the formation of Texas and Alvin, railroad, ranching, farming, war, and much, much more. The Alvin Historical Museum is located on Sealy Street, downtown Alvin, 300 West Sealy. Uh, we are open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 to 3. Uh, admission is $3. Uh, children 12 and under are free.